Let's read verses 24 to 30. Matthew chapter 13, verses 24 to 30. One verse each. Another parable he put forth to them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy kept, came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop, then the tares also sp appeared. So the servants of the owner came and said to him, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have tares? He said to them, An enemy has done this. The servant said to him, Do you want us then to go and gather them up? But he said, No, lest while you, you gather up the tares, you also uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And at the time of harvest, I say to the reapers, first gather together the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. Let's continuously read uh, verses 39 to 43. Uh, please go to 43. The enemy who saw them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are the angels. Therefore, as the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so will it be at the end of this age. The Son of Man will send out his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and those who practice lawlessness. And will cast them into the furnace of fire. There will be welling and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, today uh, I will deliver Pastor Yongdo Kim's message in English. The sermon title is Two Kinds in the Last, in the Last Days. Two Kinds in the Last Days. Wheat and weed. Jesus spoke a parable regarding the wheat and weed to his disciples. But even after listening to the story of the wheat and weed, still many of them did not repent with their heart. Even though their hearts were convicted, since they did not live like wheat, the parable of the wheat and weed became a burden to them. The Israelites who hated Jesus united as one to kill him. They had crucified Jesus. It may appear that the weed had their victory, but Jesus was resurrected after three days. One of today's verse, Matthew 13, 39. The enemy who saw them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age. And the reapers are the angels. How Paul applied this verse in his First Corinthians chapter 15, 20, verses 23 to 24. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead. He is the first of a great harvest of all who have died. But there is an order to this resur resurrection. Christ was raised at the first of the harvest. Then all who belong to Christ will be raised when he comes back. After that, the end will come when he'll turn the kingdom over to God, the Father, having destroyed every ruler and authority and power. We have tendency to behave as a weed, more as wheat. Some Christians tend to share spiritual experiences only based on what they have experienced. Since they speak too much of their own thoughts, when they counsel other brethren, there can be great reverse 
side effect. Just because someone is listening to such a person does not mean they are agreeing with the one who speaks too much from their thought. In their mind, they, have, they may have different opinions contrary to the one who has spiritual experiences. Nowadays, people are too much demanding on what they search through the internet. We need to discern from the word of God. In the last days, the voices of the weed will become louder. It may even appear as their voices have won over the voices of weed. The church must live reverently, purely, and fervently in spirit. The Lord told to pass young to him that the Western churches are not prepared for the things that are coming. The Lord told Pastor Yong Dugim that the Western churches are not prepared with oil. The Lord further said that they are losing their spiritual power. People do not think this as a serious matter, but instead they think seriously on things that are not spiritually important. This is very serious. The Lord said, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. One of the famous expressions in Habakkuk. There are some places where gospel has not been reached. In the last days, the Lord wants his believers to be a harvester. Amen? In the last days, the fruit of both the righteous and the evil ones will be harvested. The word of God says, But while his men are sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. When we are spiritually sleeping, we will become dull when it comes to the things of the Lord. The weeds are scattered seeds of sin within humanity. The weeds are elements of sin that are sown within the church, society, government, nation, and people. The bad habits dwell within us, and the generation curses dwell within our household. We must fervently repent of secret sins and sins that are inherited down to us from our parents, such as personality, temper, habits, and etc. We must powerfully cut them off of ourselves by repenting them. We must reveal all the hidden ways within ourselves. I pray that when you pray, all the words you have stumbled others and yourself be reminded. In order for our prayer to be reached to God, you must first take care of your relationship with uh, the other people. We must first completely repent of all of our hidden sins. James 5.16 Confess to one another, therefore your faults, your slips, your first steps, your offenses, your sins, and pray also for one another, that you may be healed and restored to a spiritual tone of mind and heart. The earnest, heartfelt, continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available, dynamic in its working. Amen? After Jesus preached, Israelites knew that more weeds will grow. Jesus preached words without having any formality. Instead, he preached with freedom. Whoever he, meet, he met, without being discriminating, he loved all equally. But we gathered together to persecute 
and treated the Lord Jesus with contempt. If anyone hates and misunderstands you without you having done anything wrong, know that you will receive a reward in heaven. Amen? Through contempt and persecution, you will become a wheat. The heavenly white robe is saints' righteous conduct. People of evil conduct will continue to do evil things, and people of righteous conduct will continue to do good things. In the last days, people will be saved with their own faith. Amen? Pastor Yong Do Kim has visited heaven after his, spiritual, his spirituality was opened. In heaven, truth, sincerity, honesty, and loving heart are all known to each other. While you are living your daily life, please be sincere and practice loving other people in heaven. If you thought about some kind of questions to ask the Lord, you will know it sensibly and will understand instantly. No matter what, you must not hate anyone. Only when you bear all the fruits of the Holy Spirit given by the Lord are shown through you, you will enter the kingdom of God. Amen? In heaven, every home of saints looks different. Even all the bricks are made of diamond, blue sapphire, and emerald. Wow, it's so wonderful. All your prayers... Offerings, serving others, devotions are real in heaven. In heaven, there are no competing, betraying, deceiving, and talking behind someone's back. In the coming days, the witch and wheeze will be distinguished more vivid and clear. One day, Pastor Yong Kim was praying to the Lord on the matter that was created within his church. Then he saw huge paper coming down. The Lord said, this is an army summoning order. This is an army summoning order. The first required condition is that one must be filled with the Holy Spirit. This is the order. Second required condition is you must not leave your position like as if you are waiting for the promised Holy Spirit. Third required condition is that you must go through much of the physical, mental, and spiritual training once you become my soldier. Then Pastor Yong Do Kim, rampant wild horses, these wild horses didn't want to listen. He saw all different kinds of wild horses. Some of the wild horses appeared sick. These sick wild horses walk sideways. Some of the other wild horses had one eye. When some of the other wild horses had no tail or no legs, some have had lost all of their tooth. Some of wild horses had one front leg and what one back leg, and in spite of their conditions, they still walked around wherever they wanted to go. Pastor Kim asked the Lord, Lord, why are these wild horses have such appearances? The Lord answered, these horses are the ones I love. They are, these are better horses. They are not trained yet. Even though these horses didn't look well and had only one front and back leg, they all looked satisfied. The Lord continued. They are wandering around without having their suffered. Therefore, they are not properly trained. They are become tired. They are becoming tired. They think they are properly trained, not knowing 
that the way I wanted them to be trained is different. Pastor Kim, you take care of these horses and train them well so that later these wild horses can run around within the enemy camp. These horses will carry out spiritual warfare. Hallelujah. Amen. When holy fire entered into these sick wild horses, the horses without tail had their tail restored. Horses without legs had their legs restored. And horses without their eyes had their eyes restored. But still, there are few wild horses did not want to listen. The Lord appeared above these horses didn't want to listen. Like these horses, there are times we don't even realize or know even when the Lord gives us signal around us. When the Lord allows big and small trials and tribulations, we must bear it well. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 7 to 8 says, Therefore, as the Holy Spirit says, Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts, as happened in the rebellion of Israel and their provocation and embitterment of me in the day of testing in the wilderness. Once Pastor Kim rode a horse when he visited Texas, his wife's horse ran well, but his horse stopped in the middle of the track. No matter how he comforted it, it did not want to run. Instead, it went back to where it started. Then the horse owner came. When the owner lost on the side of the horse, it ran right away. One thing Pastor Kim realized, he did not have proper training over handling a horse. He did not know how to ride a horse. When a skilled horse rider rides a horse, in order to change the direction of the horse, all he has to do is to slightly touch the side of the horse with his heel. The rider can control the speed with a skipper touch. The Lord said, You guys are the better horses that are used by me worldwidely. These better horses enter into enemy's camp and engage into fight. They use holy sword as it run. These better horses can steadily use their weapons skillfully in the middle of running they are unshakable. Amen? We, you and I are the horses with the full arm of mighty power of the Holy Spirit. Pastor Kim saw the Lord was training horses and he saw the Lord had put a bit in a certain horse's mouth in order to make it obey. My brethren, I hope you find out what your problem Maybe as you go through your tests and trials. When you find out your problems, please repent right away. It takes time for one person to be changed. No matter how much signals the Lord may give out, some horse do not see or realize. We must shorten the time with a quick obedience and with a spiritual discernment. There are people with much time required to be changed, when the others only need a short amount of time to be changed. Which one will you be? Which one do you want to take? The one who changes attitude right away and takes short time to be used by God. Hallelujah. Spiritual ministers must not advertise and show off themselves. Instead, they must work for the glory of the Lord. Within the church, you must not become so greedy 
about being in the some type of positions. Instead, you must serve, devote yourselves, and sacrifice. It is okay not to be known and become popular in this world to the people. We must be well known in the spiritual realm. When he catch many fishes, the net tears apart. Then we must mend tall net. The relationship between saints is very important. If someone is hurt because of my conduct, I have to repent quickly. God uses people who are soft, considerate, kind to others, and he uses people who forgive others. The age does not matter. God will use people with a good character and personality even if the person is young in age. We get to know each other more as we have more conversations. Through our conversations and good fellowship, our net will be mended finely. Then no fish will be able to escape once they are caught. Hallelujah. When we converse, we must converse with relations. Then we'll become more close. Ephesians chapter 4, 15 to 16 says, Rather let our lives lovingly express truth in all things, speaking truly, dealing truly, living truly. And folded in love, let us grow up in every way and in all things into him who is the head, even Christ the Messiah, the anointed one. For because of him, the whole body, the church in all its various parts, closely joined and firmly knit together by the joints and ligaments with which it is supplied. When each part is working properly in all its functions, grows to full maturity, building itself up in love. It is a joint that connects our body parts. In order for our body parts to be well connected, the joint must be healthy. We'll work properly and our body will be stained well. If we do not have a healthy joint, we won't be able to stand. Lord, please mend our net. We are seized by problems our we are seized by problems of our children, atmosphere, finance, and all the other matters. If we are seized by these matters, we won't be able to participate in the spiritual harvest. We must be free from what we are seized in order to be a wheat at the time of harvest. Amen. I pray that you will be controlled by the Spirit of God. Please forgive those who have betrayed and cursed you. When you sin, do not try to take care of it by feeling it is your responsible to get rid of, but instead, you must confess your sin and repent. You must entrust them to the Lord. Amen? Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for giving us your word through Pastor Yongdu Kim's sermon available in English. Oh Lord, you are training horses. There are various horses, all sick horses, one leg horses, and one problem horses and horses not listening well. But Lord, we need to listen. We need to be trained. Oh Lord, as your sheep listen the master's voice, let us listen to the master's voice, your voice. 
and to be trained. O oh Lord, let us repent if anything we have a problem. O oh Lord, please lead these congregation members into a wonderful plan you already have. O oh Lord, please lead these con congregation members to be spiritual warriors, all battlefield horses to be. O oh Lord, please use us, even those people watching on the internet, worshiping together, praying together, or let them be your spiritual warriors as well, as we sincerely follow you. O oh Lord, please heal Pastor Yong Do Gim's eye so that he can minister with no problem at all. I pray in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, we'll take break time, and then we'll continue to pray. We'll have an impartation and holy dancing. Thank you.